What is up guys, Stephen Womack with another Instagram tutorial. Let's talk about Madison Beer today. You requested her look and I want to show you how to create this look using your smartphone and the free lighting app only. Now I've also created a preset on exactly this look. It's in my all presets pack. The link is under this video. Make sure to check it out. There are many more Instagram or influencer and celebrity presets in that pack to really upgrade your Instagram. Check it out. And also, if you like these videos, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And if you have requests and want me to take a look at how to edit something that you were trying to find out, let me know on Instagram, DM me, at Stephen Womack is my handle, or also you can just comment under this video. I'm happy to reply as soon as I can. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. You will need your smartphone, of course, and I want you to open up that free Lightroom app, choose your picture, and let's start editing. So the first thing you wanna do in the lights tab is hit the curve on the upper right, and then I want you to create this curve exactly as it is right here. So we just wanna pull up the shadows on the bottom left, and pull down the highlights on the upper right side. And then in between, I want you to create this really hard S shape. Um, once you have this copied as it is right here, maybe pause the video and really get into that curve. And once you have it, um, you're done here. We go over to the red tones right here. And what you wanna do is just pull up the shadows as well on the bottom left a little bit. And then in between, just create that those two nodes where I put them right there, and that should do the trick. The green tones, the green curve right here, just pull down the highlights on the upper right just a little bit, and the blue tones pull up the shadows again, and then in between, just create a second node to make a little curve as it is right here. Now this is the really hard part of this tutorial, but again, it's really important to nail these curves. So we're done here, and then I want you to boost up the exposure a little bit to around plus 0.29 and the contrast we want to pull that down to negative 23 right here and the shadows we want to boost them up to plus 22 right here and bring down the blacks to negative 40 44 right here um, that's perfect. We go over to the colors tab and what you want to do here is just boost up the temperature to plus 24 right here and boost up the tint as well to plus 4. Boost up the vibrance to plus 25 and pull down the saturation to negative 40, 45 right here. So we scroll up hit the color mix tab on the upper right and for the red tones I want you to boost the hue to plus 16 and boost the saturation to plus 22 right here and pull down the luminance to negative 23. Go over to the orange tones pull down the hue to negative 2 just really slightly boost up the saturation to plus 23 and pull down the luminance to negative 30 or 29 right here go over to the yellow tones pull down the hue to negative 20 and pull down the saturation all the way to negative 100 and leave the luminance as it is for the green tones we just want to pull down the saturation to negative 100 as well the aqua tones what you want to do is pull down the saturation to negative 70, 75 right here. And the blue tones, you want to pull down the saturation again to negative 85. And the purple tones, same thing, pull down the saturation to negative 48. Pink tones, pull down the saturation all the way to negative 70, around 74 right here. So that's it, we're done with the colors, and we go over to the effects tab. In this case, we just want to boost the texture to plus 27 right here. The clarity, we want to pull that down to negative 21, and dehaze, we want to boost that to plus 6. And the grain, this is really important, 
down here. We want to boost that up to 32 right here because she uses a lot of grain in her pictures. And the size, we want to boost that all the way to plus 98 and the roughness to 70, 74 maybe. So this is good for the grain. We're done here. We scroll up and hit the split toning on the upper right. And now to get that final color right, we want to pull the highlights to a hue of around 61 and a saturation of 7 is good. So 64, 7. And the shadows, we want to pull the hue all the way to that green, almost, or let's say blue area right here to a hue of 200 and seven and a saturation of 23 well, let me get this right 207 22 so it's 213 and 22 that works as well and we are done here this is the look here's a before and after and it comes super close to those Miro selfies that she takes um of course the lighting in every picture is a little bit different so you got to try out um, what works best for you. You can always just adjust the settings a little bit, but overall, this is the look. And I've also created a preset on exactly this Madison Beer inspired Instagram selfie look. It's on my website. Check it out. The link is under this video. It's in the all presets pack, and there are many, many more presets for you. Check them out, have fun with it. And um, also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And if you want me to edit one of your pictures or to show you how to create a look that you request, you can always DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack. I'm happy to hear from you or just leave a comment under this video and I'll try to reply as fast as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Peace.